Check, I think we're good now. Yeah, man, everything, everything nice now. Everything nice, you know. Everything good. Me and Mrs. Mrs. Jones, we got a thing going on. Bap, 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 bap. <laughs> Who know them big people sang there? Who know them big people sang there? Damn. Me and Mrs. Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones. We got a thing going on. Damn. Some people don't know them song. Then rock and come in, rock and come in, rock and come in. Load up the bus, load up the bus. Let's go. Load up the bus, make we go. Load up the bus, make we go. Load up the bus, load up the bus. Was that like a false start? Or you don't know? A false start can derail what's about to go down. Seeing? All aboard, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Turn up the bus, turn up the bus. Boss about for leave town. Yeah, I'm to do a like a restart, you know. I have to do like a restart. So now I'm not getting the, the echo, so I think I'm good. Yeah. Big up in a free thinker. Yeah, man, Bray, um, Kerry, big up yourself. Nadia, see you. Very interesting reason. I will put things forget, forgot through um, in a short time. One hour, one hour run off quick, you know. So um, big up yourself, Tracy. So you know, so we have to, um, we have to chop and go through. Chop, chopping, chopping style and go through. PMP chopping style. Chop a PMP chopping style and go through. PMP chopping and go through. Massa market chopping's. Hey Selena, what's up? Princess Rookie Wagwan. It's Rookie all the way in England. Big up yourself, you know.
All right, so there's a link. Um, paste. I just posted the link, um, Imotep, and um, if any other pass, guests are passed through. But I want to join the discussion in a little bit. I just posted the link. So I um, could know if you want to jump in on the discussion, just hit the link um, further on in the discussion here. So I, I will post it again further on in the discussion, um, but for the time being, I just post it. Yeah? <coughs> Yeah, I don't know why I don't I, I don't see a thing to pin it on the Facebook on this one. I can pin it in the YouTube anyway, but I see nothing to pin it on Facebook. And from the um from the can may I use stream may I use stream yard emote? So I don't see I don't see how to pin it on stream yard. I can pin it in um on the YouTube, but most people are from um yeah, so some people from over YouTube, but most people are from uh let you know what let me go let me pin it on, on YouTube. Let me pin it on YouTube. That's a good idea. Let me pin it on YouTube. All right, I'm moving the bus. Bus I take off in a two two minutes. Two minutes the bus gone. Two minutes are we gone with a town. Two minutes bus gone. One and a half minute bus gone. Don't know, you know, bad driver and I wait for people, you know. Who not catch it live? Catch it on the replay. Who not catch it live? Catch it on the replay. Who not catch it live? Catch up on the replay. Who not catch it live? Catch up on the replay. Who not catch it live? Catch up on the replay. Pin message. Okay, so I pin I pin the, the, the link to my um to the YouTube page. And the YouTube page is um Let's Talk Politics. So that is on uh, YouTube. It's a new page. Um, we're building that page. Hopefully, we'll get um, the streams going there um, eventually, so we can do most of the reasoning from that page. Because this page is basically the Facebook page, where kind of still compromise the algorithm, just start kicking back. So, um, yeah. All right. All right, so watch this now. Watch this now. Um, I want to talk about the uh, the budget, Mark Golden's budget and um, Andrew Golden's um, budget presentation. Yeah, but before we get into that, let's um let's 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 dig a little into the uproar of the weekend the uproar the the catastrophic um uproar over the weekend about um the house speaker uh, mrs Woolness committed one of the you know worst sin that has ever been committed by any um political uh person or member one of the worst sin ever committed on earth so this was a big thing and everybody was waiting for Monday morning for a year now. You know, the details of the sin that Mrs. Olness committed. So of course, a big headline came out. Zin, and the headline I said, yo, report sent back by Mrs. Olness. Yeah? 
report sent back by Mrs. Holness to the um, to the Auditor General and everybody I say, yo, what kind of thing that she got do? Oh, she fit do that. Eh? Oh, she fit send back report. Oh, Mrs. Holness fit send back report. What kind of thing that where she a cover up? Who she a cover up for? She a cover up for her husband. She a deal with corruption. She a deal with crime. Huh? She a deal with one of the wickedest crimes. She have something to hide. <laughs> I go for my Virgin Ratigan platform and I tell the people and beat me wicked. Them say, yo, I will send him. Yeah, man. Wall it up, boof. Wall of my head back. Chip up. Yeah. So I say, yo, this has never happened where a report was sent back to the Auditor General. So how comes Mrs. Wall is so bright and presumptuous and so dishonest? Nepotism at its best. Yeah. Only to find out, say, Marie the Port first. Only to find out, say, the thing we call the biggest news and the biggest distraction from the, the budget. I told you last week, you know, that not, I told you that there was nothing in Mark's Golden, Mark Golden's budget presentation to go off you know there was nothing for the public to talk about there was nothing for the the news the media to talk about there was nothing new there was nothing in his budget to state how he's gonna get things done there's no there is nothing in his budget that gives any form of indication that they're going to remove Andrew Wellness are the people gonna vote out Andrew Wellness and have a better Jamaica there is nothing. One bag of promise. All promises, same, same, all promises. And taking credit for what Andrew Wilness is doing. Oh, I mean do that. I mean do that. Fiscal management, I mean, I we start that. I we plant the tree. <laughs> yeah, man. Heart, I we start that. Like, what is your plan? How oh, you gonna pay for the things and where you get the money from? But because they did not have anything in their budget presentation. And when Mr. Mr. Golden realized that him don't read him budget and him not have nothing more to say, him just look over, him just look over because everybody knocked the bench. And the little lady that stand that was standing beside him, you know, she looked like she get all tired because she knocked bench. <laughs> A little old lady, but let's say the little lady stand up beside Mr. Golden and knock bench all night. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> Yo, she knock bench until her hand tired. See, Mr. The woman knock, but Mr. Mr. Listen to me, man. When I tell you, I say. <laughs> what are the what are the people? Me have to show the lady. <laughs> me have to show the lady and knock the bench before me go talk about Miss Wallace. I swear to God. Let me find out there. Let me find out there. Let me see Mark Golden's speech. Mark Golden's speech, right? Let me show the lady. If you don't think I lie, me I tell. I want to think me I lie, you know. I want to know that me not tell lie. Me not tell lie. Mr. When I tell Mr. If you look at you know me, I say, what a wicked man. <laughs> if not see, he lady out the job. Give her the water, man, drink up the whole of the water and don't give the lady none. Mark Golden, drink up the whole of the water and don't give the lady none. See? None. Watch it. <laughs> I need to speed this up. 
I need to speed this up, I swear. May I put it past silent, you know? May I put it past silent? You see? Look at this. Look, look here, look here, look here, look here, look here. Come look here. Come look here, man. Look if I lie, me I tell. Tell me if I lie, me I tell if you lady don't look like she get tired. Eh? Tell me she don't look like she get tired. Eh? Watch her. Just watch this, man. Watch this. Let me put it past pa, pa speed. Let me speed you up a little. Let's, let me speed up a little so you can get look like. Zin, watch her. Take her. Jekia, remember, we say lady, I forget so sweetie. Yeah, man, cause she not, watch her, back, back. Yeah, man. Yes, bench. Watch her, and, and, and I had her, you know. Me say mommy, and I had her, you know. What? Me say mommy, and I had her. Watch ya, watch ya, watch ya, watch ya, watch rub. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Missy, Missy. Nine o'clock, I see no gonna say, yo. Jesus and peace, in can't get a water. Come again, mommy. Knock one more time, I'm gonna be busy. Knock again, knock again, knock again, knock again, knock again, to box cover. Missy, not even a clay water. Missy, I'm holding that gay lady. Not even a clay water. In the gil, in the gil lady, eh? Miss Ellie, in that cool night, nothing, no in the speech, not a thing was not in the speech. Is that? So these are the big uproar people. Auditor General reveals that speaker returned to investigative report to her office on Friday, right? He said them said it back to her Friday, right? And this comes on the heel of on the heels of um. Mr. Mark Golden calling um out Mrs. Holden, Mrs. 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 Holden's Ill, uh, being elected as, as House Speaker. Yeah. Four years of being deputy and speaker, Mr. Mark Golden is just finally realizing that it is nepotism. Yeah. So Audit Auditor General Pamela Monroe Ellis has disclosed that two reports. That were sent to Parliament on December 28th and January 29th, yeah, at the last last year to this year, were returned to her department on Friday by Speaker of the House, Julie Tuonis. The, the first report is a special audit of, a, of the Financial Services Commission, and the second, a special audit of Tax Administration, Jamaica. Mrs. Monroe Ellis did not give the reason for the return of the, the reports. She told the Gleaner that she will be dispatching them to Parliament on Monday. The disclosure comes after Jamaica Labour Party General Secretary Dr. Horace Chang said um, that as of Friday, there was no outstanding report from the from either the Integrity Commission or the Auditor General. See? And of course, you know them roast Miss Wellness, you know. Them roast Miss Wellness, them say, yo, at this we are talking about see the cat here in the, see the pussy in the bag. We caught the puss we because I remember saying, you know. You remember saying Mark Golden, you know, Master Mark, you know. Send out this thing, you know, and now all spotlight is on Mrs. Wellness and the, and the illicit six. Yeah, all the spotlight is on Mrs. Wellness and the illicit six. Mm -hmm. So, in turn on the spotlight, so, so people now looking for you know the evidence. So, here comes the evidence. Yes, see, that we catch them, we catch them, we catch them doing it. See it and all Jamaican people get this now in mind. We are working with the most corrupted government in the history of Jamaica. Yeah, adapt the picture in my view. Them are painting now. Yeah, them are work the people, them brain over and over and over with this illicit six and this corruption and one bag of thing. And trust me, if you ever start the corruption, you see a tree plant. Zin, all right. So that was on Friday. And we're supposed to now get ready to arrest Mrs. Holness. Because they call for lock her up like how they call for lock up Hillary Clinton for send back two reports. You see? 
de Macabre la Carop. You see? They must say, lock her up. Lock her up. We send back it to report. But look what just happened today. Look what just happened today. I'm um, yesterday. When look, where, look, where, look where the observer put out yesterday. After the big up row, look here. Look what happened. It's an observer yesterday. When you look here. Process raising Auditor General's report dispute. Watch here. Government sources are insisting that two reports from the Auditor General's department were referred by Parliament back to that office, which failed to comply with the law governing treatment of reports before they were submitted to the House of Representatives. A letter seen by the Jamaica Observer, which was sent by Horace Clark um, um, and Valley Curtis to the Auditor General Pamela, um, Ellis argued that the reports were not properly or lawfully submitted to Parliament for tabling. When you listen to me, no man, we you can't make this up, you know. What if you realize what's going on here? So, you don't realize what's going on here? So, the narrative, what am I trying to put out there, you know, because they want to. Let you believe that Mrs. Wellness, you know, being the um the speaker of the house is conflicting or is conflict of interest. So she's hiding things and she's covering up things. Two reports. The two reports are a special audit of the Financial Service Commission and a special audit of tax administration. Please be advised that please be advised that the aforementioned reports are being returned to you in accordance with the ruling of the Speaker of the House of um, Representatives. That all reports from the Auditor General Department, which are an audit of the public body, will be tabled in accordance with the Section 30 of the Financial Administration Audit Act. Right? And the procedures outlined therein said the letter from Curtis to Monroe. Right now, based on what I've, what I've um, um, been able to, 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 to find from the, 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 the act, yeah, what I've been privy to, this is what this is what I've been privy to. We don't even can see this, but try to see this. Is it? When you can't see this, when you can't see me, I'm going to read the phone. All right. It's saying here, notwithstanding anything to the contrary, and this is, this is section 30, yeah? Notwithstanding anything to the contrary contained in any other enactment, the Auditor General may, if he thinks fit, audit the accounts of any public body and shall do so if the House of Representatives by resolution so um, I directs the Auditor General's report of his examination and audit of any accounts audited pursuant to section um, one shall be transmitted to the appropriate minister for presentation to the House of, Rep of Representatives. Yeah? The appropriate minister shall obtain the observations of the public body I'm concerned of any matter to which attention has been called by the Auditor General in his report and as and such shall be presented to the author of representative with their the report. If the appropriate minister fails within two months after receipt of the report, now listen, this could you know, because it's important to you know that again, this is information I've, I've been privy to. See, if the appropriate minister fails within two months after receipt of the report to present it to the House of Representatives, the Auditor General shall transmit a copy of the report to the Speaker of the House to be presented to, to him to the House, presented by him to the House. Anybody realize what I'm going to say? Let me bring up a bridge in the motor. Can I explain better than me? 
Hey, you motep. Yeah, man, so be big up yourself in a way I go away. What, 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 what you say? What, 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 what me just read a while ago? What? what you know what I say? Point? You know what I say? I check me check in still. I mean, that's the uh, analysis still, you know. You get what I say? So, um, Ebo, you read a while ago still. I mean, I even do 200 pan it. So, I don't even want us to go back over it, you know? Um, you're, you're muted, Sube. You're, you're muted. You're muted. All right. One, one second, my general. All right. So what, you know? You know about the uproar from, from over the weekend, right? Yeah, Friday, man. Because you know, so we have light up, you know? Right. So them said, um, the, 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 the speaker sent back two reports that were to be tabled, right? Right. They said the speaker sent back two reports that were to be tabled. Yeah? So, of course... According to the speaker, um, according to the the the, um, the 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 financial administration and audit um, act, it is saying here, notwithstanding anything to the contrary contained in any other enactment, the auditor general may, if he thinks fit, audit the accounts of any public body and shall do so if the House of Representative representative by resolution so directs. The Auditor General's report of his examination and audit of any accounts audited pursuant to the section one to section one shall be transmitted to the appropriate minister for presentation to the House of Representatives. Right? A. The appropriate minister shall obtain the observations of the body, the public body concerned of any matter which attention has been called by the Auditor General in his report. And such observation shall be presented to the House of Representatives with the report. Now listen to this be carefully. If the appropriate minister fails within two months, you hear that? Yeah, man. After receipt of the report to present it to the House of Representatives, the Auditor General shall transmit a copy of the report to the Speaker of the House to be presented by him to the House. What happened there, sir? Yeah, I actually hear all of that, right? And if, if it's a failure to present it to the um, House of Representatives, the Auditor General um, will present it to the Speaker of the House. All right, so this is from the Observer. Is it? Government sources are insisting that two reports from the Auditor General's department were referred to, referred by Parliament back to that office, which failed to comply with the law governing treatment of reports before they are submitted to the House of Representatives. A letter seen by the Jamaica Observer, which was sent by House Clerk, Valley Curtis to Auditor General Pamela Manro Ellis, argued that the reports were not properly or lawfully submitted to Parliament for tabling. The two reports are a special audit and a financial service commission um, of the financial service commission and a special audit of tax administration, Jamaica. So, so Subi, question though, who are these yes. people, right? Um, who are civil servants in public bodies? I get a bag of money for your submit reports that are not, hold on, that are not, no, I don't want to laugh. Me I say, Subi, seriously, brother. Who are these people that are getting so much money, right, to send reports that are either incomplete or, um, you know, not not correct or some, there are some uh, convolution, whatever, right? And I'm saying these people are submitting that to Parliament? Yes, sir. Then something wrong there, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Brother, me not tell us eh, the PMP administration I play I play party tricks. Them not no message. Ah, the only chance Mark Golden realized say eh, he has in winning the general election. Them have them do them do a little thing and because the J Jamaica Labour Party, you know, them are take social media for granted and I do not work, you know. So them let allow Master Mark for out there in my that's my in my view, right? For out there. No, no, let me say right. Then hello, Mark Golden and his team to be out there. And the and the coalition that was formed 
to disrupt the, 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 the progress that Jamaican people may, you know, be, 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 be going towards or be, 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 you know, getting sooner or later. So, 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 so Subi, in all of this, I mean, let's be fair though. Should we really, um, with our contents, make we think with our contents and not two parties on our tribal lines, right? Right, right. right. Should we really be holding um, the, the speaker of the house accountable for this situation or is, is, is the relevant bodies where we mess up the thing from the get-go? Brother, you see, when you have a, you see, you have a coalition and you have a, a bunch of people gathered up on social media and them, them riding the Mark Golden train. You see? Then jumping on this Mark Golden train. Um, they have nothing... I finish them, them not have anything to really stay on message. So they have to come with every form of distraction that they can find. From calling out the speaker of the house in the in the in the budget presentation, when this could be done a thousand times before, they never call her out in the local government election. You know, they must say this is a local government election. I think so they the point it out in a local government election. But because there is nothing to offer, because guess what? The people them are right. The people them say Andrew Wallen is not doing good for the country. So, all right, local government, it was closer than everybody expected. Yeah. So now they know that the people are looking at them. What are you going to do for us that is different from what Andrew Wallen is doing? They cannot point to the Jamaican people them and say, listen to me. Or point at them and say, this is what we're going to do different. Right. This is the changes we're going to make that is going to make Jamaica a better place. That is the problem here. So them cannot stay on message. So them trying all manner of things and anything sticks. You see, what in my view, Mark Golden is now Mark Trump. When Donald Trump came into office, he never had no message. He never, he never know nothing about constitution. He never know nothing about politics. Yeah, but um, Subi, respectfully, I wouldn't um put um Mark Golden in the category of Donald Trump because so yeah, one, him look a brighter, him look a brighter. But no, yeah, not only that, message. but the policies are different. The positions are different. Remember, he Trump is a right wing neoconservative. Um, no, 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 Mark no, Golden no. is more like a liberal. Um, you know, no, no, quote no, unquote. No, 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 um democratic I'm socialism kind of approach you know the point i'm alluding to is donald trump didn't have any message yeah man, i understand that but for us for us use that one correlation for lumping with trump no yeah method. yeah that's problematic for me still the, the method the method is throw anything out there anything stick stick that's the same trump method that's the same method anything stick We'll just work with it. Well, I mean, but that's how politics go with both parties too. Brother, <clears throat> there is no conscience and there is no repercussion for, for lies when it comes down to Donald Trump. You know, see Donald Trump tell a lie and his supporters them say, a lie I tell. Just, bro, believe me, bro. I'm not talking about the qualification. I'm not talking about the, about the academia here. Mark Golden is being Donald Trump. Is liquor Trump. Him just a throw out anything, anything stick, stick. May I tell you? Because I know, say, the people are riled up. The social space is anti, you know? Well, Andrew Wallace. Yep. Yeah, but, but hold on, but hold on. So, but you you were supposed to understand to some degree why the um social media space is anti Andrew Wallace because that old big C situation the way how people did lock down and him send for people so to speak not that him send for people but the way it was handled yeah, yeah it yeah. never sit right and then him call the election in yeah. the same midst of it when him a lock down people him a free up for the election a lot of people and rightfully so cannot forget that Subi. true 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 but guess what we're in a pandemic yeah we, we understand nobody, that you know no, so and, and so, nobody, so what we are nobody, saying nobody, no Subi. when people are saying this you know see him like oh 
you lock down the place because of the quote unquote pandemic. How you open it up for the election during the same pandemic that never sit right, that no, can't no, 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 sit no. right. So no, let's, be honest, let's be honest. Let's be honest. When the election called, there was a lot of um information coming out from the um the different um health fields that the um the vaccine was not effective. Um it was a it all manner of things was coming out. People they were opening up the country in America and around the world. People were basically saying, you know what, the vaccine is not effective. You know, some people could some people are just gonna catch it and um take the vaccine, blah 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 blah. So it was not as the the the, 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 the um in the time when he called the election, it was not as detrimental, quote unquote detrimental as 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 earlier on when he was locking on the place. Well, but during that time though, no, but the problem is, you know. Remember, you know, that election also increased um, the, 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 the numbers. It was after the election that the numbers start even to skyrocket in terms of um, the, the, the people who are quote unquote infected. Because they, were say, they, they, they reached a point where they say, you know what, let's just deal with immunity. No, but the World Health Organization at that time, to the United Nations and even the US, right. they were still um, applying certain quarantine procedures straight through that but, time but, 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 them never large, them never say oh it's good to go no one said it was good to go no many countries at that point started um resisting the 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 the, the, the um the protocols that were no 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 at that time no so we never disagree because at that time yeah man everyone was adhering to the quarantine procedures and whatever no, procedures implemented by the world health organization it was not as stringent as, as earlier on though that's what i'm saying to you because well, 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 you know, well, at the remember, beginning, remember, yeah, it was stringent. I agree with that. Know, know I get up too, too, too long for it. Right, but, but right. Remember, when it originally started, people couldn't leave the house, none at all. Uh, in the midst of it, people couldn't leave the house. People couldn't go nowhere. People couldn't go to church. People couldn't do anything. They started opening up back churches. When the election called, churches were, you know, they started keeping church again. They were just asking for people to, to stay six feet, you know, apart from each other. So let's be fair on that. Secondly, when he called the election, the JLP and the PMP had the same opportunities. You had the same opportunities to go and vote. You had the same opportunities to go and campaign. There was no difference in saying only JLP people can go out there and, pro, and, 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 and be a part of the election. It, it, there was nothing to say only JLP people can go to nomination. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you know what happened um, with that election, though? It was like, I think it was 33%, if memory serves me right. Well, I know my point is, my point is, not even JLP the turnout neither. So, so my point is, the people were so accustomed to the whole lockdown and restrictions that Andrew Owens implemented, oh, oh, they never brother, turn out. Brother, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, because you're very smart. If the people were so disgruntled at Andrew Owens locking down the place, yeah, and then give them two days or three days or one week and say, go and vote. No vote, them should have voted him out. Yeah, but the thing with politics is in a answer, subi. No, 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 no. I'm going to answer you. I'm going to answer you. I'm saying, when it comes down to politics in Jamaica, mobilization is king. Well, I know about me, let me tell you. I was on the road, bus, truck, van, car, donkey car, was on the road, brother. Yeah, but as Everything me I say, a mobilization is king. So brother, if, brother, listen to me, anybody who can mobilize better, I go win the election. Brother, 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 brother. That means you have to me say the PMP was 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 inactive. That means um, say, in, in so many ways. As a matter of fact, the, the JLP did outspend the PNP during that um campaign as well. So, so yeah, man, JLP, bro, God, it have money, so money, JLP, money, get lower if you spend. The JLP, the JLP outspent the PNP in the local government election of Gandhi the other day. Well, me not sure about that one. I'm talking about the general yeah. election, though. No, no, the, yeah, man, the JP outspent the PNP are, big if you, time. If the people them were so under bondage, they had an opportunity to vote out. Andrew Wilde. So, make a move, brother. Because that's not you that you are here. Anyway, what I say now is to close off the, the whole Mrs. Mrs. Wilde's saga. Yeah? What came out last at the end of last week that she erred and she... Um, is 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 going rogue and she's um dealing with corruption and all them things that is nothing more than 
a total um, um, misinformation, um, um, level of misinformation being spread by whosoever spreading it. Because there is nothing here that she did inappropriately. They sent over, they sent information to the wrong person. The information all right, was, so, all right, so, so what is the accountability now for the person who sent the information to the wrong person? Like, who's, like, who's like, where's the accountability here now, you know? Because, because, in my view, Mark Golden is out there trying to muddy the water on, 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 on Mrs. Wolness and Andrew Wolness. Yeah. So, so there's a climate. Is a climate that is a, that that is that 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 we're in. We're in a climate where we're trying to prove that the JLP government is more corrupted than the PMP government, and if, and members of the PMP party and maybe people are helping them behind the scene. Yeah, in trying to prove this to the the, the Jamaican people that they are so corrupted, you have to vote them out of office. All right, but Subi, a That's quick question though. Be yeah. spawn where you just read a while ago, right? And where yeah. you talk about. You no feel say some mistakes are make where as some little primary school mistakes are make. The things are send back go there so and send back go there so and them something. There. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what is happening, Mrs. Wellness, right? She is aware that that, that everyone is looking at her to be um complicit, to fail, to support corruption all of them things there but everyone from people not everyone people from the other side right the opposite side the opposition side they are putting it out there that she is going to do this and she's going to do that they're actually putting when them said they, they walk in front of the ass or whatever way it is right? right right so what is happening here she in my view and based on my research she's going with the letter of the law because she knows that there's a bullseye on her back Right. right, and I find that problematic too. Be that um, all who did a complaint, even Mark Golin, he never made any mention of her breaking the law. No exactly. one but, is is making but, any mention of she's breaking know, the law. She's breaking the law. law. Nothing at all know, like that. They know she's not breaking the law, right? So what they're doing is they're allowing the they're, they're, they're giving out these false or misinformation. So they're misinforming the public, so the public can come to that. You see, that's why they want the public to gather from that what they are doing. Them. They want the public to go and you look at the posts that they're posting and the sites and that are running with it. No media house did any fact check before posting that Mrs. Owner sent back two reports. They did not try to find out why the reports were sent back. They just publish it. That is that is in a in a in 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 in, 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 in such a situation where people are actually having a, a bullseye on the on the on the speaker. That to me is 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 is, is troubling. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was um that was unethical journalism, you know. That's not that you that's not journalism out. to a standard. That is more like a vlogger on YouTube do a thing. You so get what me? I said, people, not so these media houses that are you know licensed exactly. and under the, the supervision of the broadcasting commission and them something there, you know. This supposed to be this these media houses are supposed to be reputable media houses, and and they threw out this information without finding out. Why was the report sent back? Now they're going to come Monday morning when the damage is already done. So this is how po politics works. Muddy the water, turn the voters, as them are turn the, 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 the population against whosoever you're trying to turn it against. It cannot be corrected because people don't make up their mind about, when people hear about corruption and politics, of course it triggers them. A trigger argument, you know. So what they're doing is they're just like, muddy the water, we now got say she commit she broke any laws, but the people, the people will say that. Right, and and free, free the argument, free the argument among among alliance of ethics, and it will appeal to the emotions of the people because once a ethics, you know how that go. But I don't exactly. blame Mark Golding for doing that either, though. No, 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 no. We cannot accept that, bro. We but a politics still, you know. No, we have never seen this type of politics in Jamaica. Well, me, never seen that. Maybe you see it already. I've never seen this type of politics where people are willing to lie or to misform people, misinform people, and no form of apology, no form of correction, nothing. And not, and not only that, no journalist asks the question, were you lying? 
All right, so so Subi, so Subi, when you actually started out the reasoning, right? You did mention about who was it? Was it Ratigan that said this has never happened before? No, 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 who no. Who said Aisa. that? I said, I said, okay, no, right. Said this has no, never happened no, before. So no, said, my question is no. Authority. No, he yes. said he said she had no authority whatsoever to send back the documents. Right, right, right. I understand that part, but I think you you just said something earlier when I think it was Ratigan that says this has never happened before. So the reason why no, I'm not framing it. I didn't say that. Maybe you were watching it and you heard him say that. But all right, I got you. All right, no, no problem. So so my thing is this now, right? Not because it has never happened before, that no means say there's a first for everything either. So well, even with Mark Golin capitalizing on the appeal to emotion for rile right. up the people, them, you know, he might, go, he might go capitalize on that and then and then go outside parliament and finish the debate and things like that. And yeah, today yeah. um is Monday and nobody remember nothing from his presentation. So at the end of the day, you know, uh, him kind of even decide if it's about the substance or the drama and him choose the drama. That's why I tell you, say my Trump. 2.0. And you try to correct me on it? No, I'm not going to say my Trump still, but you he know it go. He might capitalize. Trump. He is little Trump. Trust he might capitalize, but at the same time, I have to understand. What, what was, what you see, at a budget debate thing, yeah, you can't turn it into a spectacle. But brother, but brother we can't accept, say, I'm, I'm a law student, a lawyer. All right. Let's leave that alone, right? That is not the only thing that Mark Golden is doing that he knows is wrong. Him asking Andrew Wallace to release the names of the illicit six is wrong. And the Jamaica Bar Association should call him out. It is wrong. Oh, about the illicit it's six the statement? Yes. Well, the well, um, in, in terms of in terms of the political code of conduct, right? Yeah, him, um, as a matter of fact, not only him, any, any member of parliament, right, who is going to refer to um, whether their fellow member of parliament or whoever is in politics as illicit six we, without as, them as being no, charged. As, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 it's you pretty much, as, it's you pretty as, much as presu presuming guilt on them before they are proven to be guilty. Yeah, and so I think that's problematic. This is what happens in politics, brother. You call somebody a thief. You call somebody a, 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 a whatever. That sticks on the person. Till five, six years time. People are going to bring up. Oh, him did this and him did that. Oh, but you read a little article. It was refuted. You see? That's it. Not 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 come of it. The fact that you're saying people are criminals before them going to a court of law, brother. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's against the code of conduct still. I, 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 I find it surprising Golden, that nobody not really push back at him with that still, you know. And and Lico Trump, um, Anthony Savage, you can't join the, 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 the reason without being disrespectful here. Yeah? Right. Um, if you don't want to be, if, if you can't do it without being disrespectful, you can just remove yourself from the platform. We know they are the fight nobody for politics, brother. We have never been, you know, that type of people. Yeah, we know the last something the chop of people from bus. And I run down people with ratchet knife, the politicians. So see if that little energy there for when you meet up on somebody where we'll fight the road. Yeah? Now, what may I say is, as a person, a law student, yeah, it is wrong for him to be telling Andrew Wellness and to be putting it out there, insinuating that they are criminals. In the government, six criminals. Him actually, I said them guilty before. Them innocent. That is what's happening, and that are the problem. So it's like his argument and his appealing to, to emotion. I think is 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 putting pressure on the. The, um, the Integrity Commission. And we saw where they released the name of, of, of Robert Chin. You see? His pressure, I believe, is why they released Robert Chin's name. 
because he's applying pressure and public pressure and the integrity commission members are our chairman and whoever they are commissioners they want to act as if they're such a a a a, a, a non-biased body that they are publishing people's name in the middle of an investigation talking about they're trying to find the man but like the thing about the integrity commission somewhere but the and integrity the commission is supposed to be um non-biased one they are supposed to not be partisan right um in their position so at the end of the day their um their um reports should be very objective exactly but but look what happened they actually now the public is saying remember you know we do not know if robert chin is a part of the illicit six but now everybody say give me the name of the next five <laughs> right right because people because there and then um yes. and it's funny though it's funny oh it came in the media and it's just listen it's the politics as something where it's very funny because remember it came in in the media that um the integrity commission is looking for this man like this man wanted right like this man is a fugitive but is a member of parliament we're in a parliament every day the last budget debate he was in parliament and that ended friday so oh yeah look for him now um yes. saturday and sunday it, it's madness too it's madness it, it, madness brother, madness brother the man the man in the parliament and you and this thing happened and you know go to the man and say um you never get the 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 the, 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 the well look for you, you know <laughs> you never get the message you you about as one of the means that we are thinking you can reach the person we are trying to find it's just like it's just like the police are trying to find you and they put out a most wanted list you know is that them do to Mr. 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 Chin, you know? They put out a most wanted list. And they put out Mr. Chin as most wanted. So Mr. Robert Chin had to write, um, based on my understanding, a little, a little apology to the man. Say, Sorry, man, me never know. Say. Me never, you know, say, me never realized how they did not look for me. But the, 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 uh, the accountants is them a whole of the thing. So they could have linked Mr. Chin and Mr. Chin would have asked for extension. You see, that is all. That is that 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 is not something that I think people should sit and accept from people that are that are law, you know, that are that are scholars. My goal in is a scholar, and people tell me say it is okay to accept that for him to do that. Eh? In a no sense. You can't call people criminal before you find them guilty. Is the reason why we can't call vibes cartel criminal now, you know? So the only thing, the only, the only, the only, the only, the only, the only policy that I see the PMP has right now is to basically just muddy the water by any means necessary. That is it. Let's get into power by any means necessary. Now that type of politics they are going. So him can him can stand on a point and then just say, you know what, me never did. Me never did, you know, I never that more want. Yeah. All right, tell me if you can hear this on my play. Tell me if you can hear this. And I don't like it now, please. Wait now, please.
All right, so check this out. Check this out. Let me show you some models that work with anything with stick. Check this out. Okay, now I hear the audience. All right. Check this out. In 2020, former cabinet minister and chairman of the PNP, Robert Bobby Pickersgill, told parliament that it is high time MPs are paid more. MP pay is rubbish. MPs have to scrounge because they hit rock bottom. When a country seeks a politician, they often want in him or her the strength of an eagle, the grace of a swan, the gentleness of a dove, the friendliness of a sparrow, and the night hours of an owl. And when they catch that bird or that candidate, they expect him to live on the food of a canary. Opposition spokesperson on finance, Julian Robinson, told Parliament he had no objection to the increases as outlined by Minister Clark. Madam Speaker, the opposition takes no issue with what the minister has announced. Once the Jamaican public weighed in on the decision, the PNP saw an opportunity for political advantage and they took it. In a display of what could only be described as hypocrisy, less than 24 hours later, they claimed they were in total disagreement with the salary increase, which they had earlier supported. In the days following, the Prime Minister declared that out of respect for the sentiments expressed by the Jamaican people, he would not be accepting his salary increase. I have directed the Transformation Implementation Unit to remove the Prime Minister's compensation from the new salary scale. The Prime Minister's compensation will therefore remain at its previous levels. Despite their campaign to convince the Jamaican people they did not support the increase, other members of the PNP were silent. But while the PNP leader was making public statements calling for a rollback, other members of his party, including a prominent shadow spokesperson, said she was in support of the agreement. Today, the Prime Minister's salary is $9,169,613, compared to the opposition leader's $25,729,103 as of 2024 who, despite continuing to use the salary increase as a platform to rally support from the Jamaican people, still enjoys a sizable compensation, along with other members of the opposition, whom, it is understood, are secretly grateful that the Prime Minister and Minister Nigel Clark took the bold decision to tackle a long-standing problem that no one else had. All right, so now you hear that, right? That, that the salary increase. That's a salary increase um, that Andrew Wilnes I get beaten for. You see? That's a salary increase. Of course, had the courage or this. financial management to address. Look after us as representatives in this house. Who looks after us? Right now, no one. Parliamentarians deserve, deserve better. It is time to do what is right. Making the point is that they don't respect us. Position. That is what the people them are complaining about. <laughs> the man said people don't respect us. We now get nothing. Yeah, but the news reporter there, right? Um, Subi. Yeah. All right, so didn't Mark Golden said us him did I go um donate a portion a percentage of him salary? Well, you know what? Well, let's actually, ask you know. Well, I know, well, I know, well, I know. Yeah. Well, I know, because I because the news reporter there so like a street JLP settings, you know, because them not highlight a Mark Golden I go give away a percentage of him increase. Me now I go say that's Mark Golden right either. But at least that the number they were then present is not Mark Golden number. Which number? The the twenty five million in comparison to Andrew Wallace. Nine million. Twenty five million seven hundred and twenty nine thousand. Andrew Wallace's salary is nine million. Right. So, so me ask about Mark Golden. Say that he might give a percentage no, no, of him no, no, no. to charity or whatever. No, no, bro. No, bro. No, bro. No, bro. No, bro. No, 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 no. Mark Golden no need for use him salary for donate to charity, brother. Mark Golden is a, is a, is a, is a, by my last check, I'm based on my information. Mark Golden is a millionaire, brother. US millionaire. Billionaire, you mean? 
Well, well let me stop yeah. a million years for, 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 for the sake of, 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 not, of years. Eh? No, what do you mean? What do you mean years? Eh? Well, on, so when them sell, well, on, when Darren Bunton and Golden was sold to Scotia DBG, um, to, to Scotia Investment, how much was it sold for? You think of peanuts? So let me ask, so, so based on your understanding, so we are asking you tell me about you give a part of the money. No, Mark but my point is that at least, no, I'm okay. saying that 25 million is hey, not a reflection brother, of brother, your salary. Brother, if I get 10,000 of your show, I may give you 50 percent of it. I got ten thousand dollars for the show, bro. That is fine, but when the news are show say that a mark goal in own, bro, then bro, bias their so. Your charity should not be coming um to the public telling them that they're running no charity, brother. Well, a politics, anyways, not true, brother. That's the problem I have with it tonight. Is that that's the more politics when no, know, but a charity. politics, no, well, I know, but a politics talks so or politics not the reality. Anybody who can score some points, brother, I go score it. That's how it go, Mark Golden. Mark Golden is getting 25, nearly 26 million dollars. Not true, not true, not true, yes. not true. Because he, he has he has given a percentage, I think it was Stop. Hold on, okay. almost 40 or 20 percent of him own to charity or something like that. Brother, 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 brother. Charity is when they run them, brother, brother, charity attacks right off. Well, it's still a come out of salary, see we charity is tax right off, but come out of salary. Brother, 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 charity attacks right off. You no know, matter where you get it from, Mark Golden does not need to wait for him, him salary to, 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 to do no charity. Well, at least he might do it still. So, brother, a brother, if, if Mark Golden is telling me that he's such a good entrepreneur and he's and, and such a rich entrepreneur, he no need to use politics money to clean up the gully. <laughs> you tell me, say. I give poor people something. That is just his way of collecting the money. None of them, uh, Andrew Wallace doesn't need the money neither. Andrew Wallace is rich too. Juliet Wallace could have rich too. I mean, then then if them are dealing with $500 million or, or more investment and them seeing them a real estate, exactly, bro. they then exactly. not, not top, no rich people so, business that man. No, so let's, now we establish, establish that. Now we establish that, right? We have to we have to be fair in the argument, bro. That if you are complaining that you that there should not be a 300 percent increase, why are you collecting it? Right, but the person that asks where's the proof of him? Um, he did he did make that announcement though. What about the bro, Max for proof? The man must say, well, Max, so we already proved in my view, Mark Golden is a liar. No, but he did. He did. Um, he's doing it right now, so we're not gonna take that from him. Even proof? though a politics in my, in my play, but you see proof of Mark Golden doing that. He, but he did say he's giving twenty percent, right? Golden, and he's doing Golden, it right now. Question, Mark Golden did say Andrew Wallace must release the name of the list six and him put. Well, on. that's a different conversation because one oh, is more of no. him being. Well, I know one is more of him being benevolent, and the next one is him being political or tribal. Oh, so we can't compare them there. No, 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 so if the teachers them get 300 percent raise and then give it half of the money, it's not 300 percent raise them get. Yeah, 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 of course. No, yeah, say so Mark Golden I get 300 percent No, raise. I'm saying he's giving it to, to charity though. So <laughs> at the end of the day, yeah, man. That's, that's, that's not his take home. Remember, take home period that right about you know. Brother, if I promote I give me 50,000, I'm gonna give it half five before we reach my yard. How much we get? Then, then the take home, the 25 year take home. So, and that, yeah. <laughs> and that you make. Yeah, when, I, when, I, when a scholar like you, I try to defend foolish, you say, no, you're so fool. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I'm just being a contrarian, man. No worry yourself. He's <laughs> so fool. He's so fool. He's a shame, brother. My goal, in, in my view, is a liar. He might not throw anything for stick. He might get 
Cart with the man in the cookie jar, I take the, I take the 300% increase and I complain at the same time. You hear the man, no? Yeah, it was so, so wrong to not give the teacher them, to, to force the teacher them to take 20%. And so why you never, why you never increase the teacher's them salary when you didn't have government? Where is the bill that Mark Golden drafted when the PMP was in power to increase the teacher's salary? Where is that bill? Where is the bill? He might take credit for everything Andrew Wellness do. And I say, I him start it. Where is the bill that Mark Golden drafted when the PMP was in power for the teachers to get raised up here? Well, you know, may I gonna... agree with that because someone, someone presenting the idea and someone manifesting it are two different things. The one who actualize it are this or the substance there, not the idea. So if you have the idea, yeah, and someone else manifest it, well, I them all get the credit. So I, I think you have in the idea, Mark, not really um value that much. So the so, 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 so two music said so the PMP give the public sector five years wage freeze. You know about that? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Explain that, that occurred. Explain that. explain that quickly to me. No man, that, that occurred. Um that occurred under um that occurred under let me see, Porsche. Porsche, because I remember, well on. Porsche pass on the baton to Peter Phillips, right? Now, Peter Phillips will take over after Porsche. Yeah, but I remember there was a time when, yeah, there, there was a, there was a wage freeze. There was, no. there was, there was a five-year so, so wage PMP, freeze. The PMP with the wage freeze, I come now about Andrew. I thought about Andrew was like, uh, um, 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 you know, unconscionable. But, but remember PMP, again, you know, we're not dwell, we're not deal with the past or the present, no. So he need the PNP to do a five years wage freeze. We are dealing with the present conditions as it relates to um GDP, the economic climate, um inflation, etc. etc. So the present I got talk still. Oh, so yeah, so them time where they wage freeze, they've never the, the teacher they never need to raise up here. Them time. No, I'm not parents. saying that, but I'm just saying, even if um the what they did the was wrong the in the present context, um, you have to look upon the current economic climate. And the GDP and inflation and all them something there. No, so at the end of the day, um, you know, you have to look upon the, 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 the circumstances, especially so the teachers, after the big C. The teachers didn't need any wage increase that time. Of course, of course, teachers are supposed to get raised every every year. Every year them to get raised. Every so, single so, year. So my, so my but what is, I'm saying, the PNP doing it, right? right. Me not say it was right, but but at the end of the day. Yeah, man, if the JLP do the same thing, it's not right neither. No, I, I totally agree. So the teachers they must get raised up here. You know? I uh, that that I I I I'm not gonna be a hypocrite in that regard. You understand me? I say I totally agree. So the teachers must get um I'm raised up here. Totally agree. Yeah, me just feel said that um you see me let me tell you something the salary increase there. Eh? What yeah. Nigel Clark did. Um, I think it blindsided Andrew Wallace, but Andrew Wallace reluctantly, um, you know, went ahead with it, right? Because this was on the uh, uh, on the on the aftermath of serious um, public sector negotiations with police and teachers and nurses and yeah, doctors was, and all them something. I think it was bad timing. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. So, so even that again, you know, you know even that again, met then get little beaten too. Yeah, them, 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 and them deserve to be into because here we go on. It was the time when, it, when the whole um, media was saying the teachers are migrating. Right, so, and the nurses yeah. too, right? Yeah, but but Jamaica got nice, let's move forward. But tell me if I can hear this. Can you hear this? I don't know why this thing is not playing. Can you see that I hear that? I hear the thing. I'm hearing it, not seeing it. Right. I just want to hear. Yeah. yeah. I know. I know. So, well, so, 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 so that just, payment. You in got increase the, their salaries. Increase, yeah. No, I, I know, from day it. one they announced that I said that was wholly inappropriate. Really? Yeah. Because uh, how can you give yourself two hundred to three hundred percent increase when you've just forced the teachers basically to accept twenty percent? It's not fair. And the rank and file civil servants police officers and so on, were not happy mm -hmm. with the way in which those things were handled. Mm -hmm. And you 
sign off with them, and then you're going to announce that you're awarding yourself 200 But then you just said inflation. So, so that's what I'm talking about, brother. That's what I'm talking about. Why, why you accept the, 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 accepting the salary if you know it's wrong? Yeah, but listen to oh, Mark Golden Craft it. He said, then you are awarding yourself. Notice him not say parliamentarians, you know, him say you are awarding yourself, say my point the finger but all Andrew, the way over when, to Andrew Wallace. When Andrew, only, when Andrew say him not take him one. But so at the same Mark time, be a Spanish speech say where Mark Golden make wasn't it Julian Robinson who is the opposition finance spokesman on finance? No, I'm, I'm for, for, for what? Julian Robinson, no, him are the right. opposition spokesman right. on finance. Right, right. So, so the tape you play earlier, wasn't it him say him a co sign and agree with the increase? Then uh, that me I tell us you're a hypocrite. Right. So, what I say is that based on where Mark Golden is saying, the fire Julia, um, Julian Robinson because Julian they're a country the key to that. Brother, Julian Robinson, they're taking money and go go him here. They're look for Mark. They're <laughs> look for Mark, we're rich. Julian Robinson and Lisa and them take the money and go on them yard and, and, and the whole of the people them in the parliament. The PMP them in the parliament. It's hypocrisy, brother. It's politics the man them play, brother. And I riled up the public. Yeah? I riled up the public because them don't to, 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 to look at Andrew Holness as the most corrupted government. Andrew Holness government as the most corrupted government. But when, because they have no substance. But look how Mark Golden frame it though. Mark Golden said, Oh, you gave the teachers 20%, but you gave oh, you're yourself. Forced. You forced the teachers. Yes, to 20%, to 20%, but you gave yourself um 300% as if says only Andrew Owens get the raise. Exactly, bro. Exactly. That is the part of me. That's what I tell you, say it's a level of dishonesty. That is my issue, bro. It's like, you know, it's real. It's like, that's what he says, man, is little Trump. The man is little Trump, bro. He's little Trump. All right. Let me, um, let me pull up the, 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 the his, his thing now and, and, and think that. So let me just speak quickly from his, 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 his budget speech. Come, come on, I can't go through this. So in his 2024 budget, budget presentation, yeah? In his 2024 budget presentation, he, he made quite a few remarks that, 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 that I wanted to help me address. See? So, the, um, the, the Jamaica Labour Party government said they are raising the threshold from 1.5 to 1.7, um, right? Can you hear me, Imate? I think Imate. Yeah, man, loud and clear. Okay. So, the Jamaica Labour Party government said they are, they are raising the threshold on taxes from 1.5 to 1.7. Mark Golden is saying that it should be more. Yeah? It should be between two to three million dollars. The threshold should be to two to three million dollars. Yeah? So according to it in his in his in his presentation, he said last September I had called for an increase in the threshold of up to three million to restore the real value of the 1.5 million of 2016 and to provide some buffer for the for future inflation. Right? In fact, the fact is that since 2016, accumulated inflation is over 46% in Jamaica, and an increase in required is required to restore the real value of the threshold that was last reset in 2016. After the Prime Minister grant election pronouncement of 1.5 2.0, persons are understandable, are understandable, very disappointed that the minister has announced an increase of the threshold by only 1.7 million. To only 1.7 million, excuse me. What they expected to be 2 million ended up being 0 0.2 million. This translates to a mere 4,166 more per month in their take home pay. If the minister had, as I as phase one of the restoring of restoring the value of the 1.5, even increased the threshold to 2 million, that would give person an additional 125,000 per year, 10,400 per month. In their take home pay. Yeah? That would be a much more meaningful benefit and it could be paid by using 11.4 billion 
You take note of that. It could be paid by using 1.4 billion that has been allocate, allocated to one time 20,000 so called reverse tax credit. To the one time so called 20,000 reverse tax credit. Explain that. What is he saying here? Yeah, remember, said us um, what the finance minister, Nigel Clark, had said, right? About that 20,000 um, quote unquote reverse tax credit, right? That is for persons who file. Who are who's filing are up to date um, for 2023. So that means that as all of that, um, quote, remember, you know, that's a subsidy, you know, a, re a reverse tax credit is a subsidy, which means that the government are give some money. Pretty much that that's what's going on. So based on Mark Golden's calculation, right, and the um, metrics, he's saying that that money could have been used um, the other way. The, the, the increase in the threshold right right yeah yeah use that towards increasing the threshold because once you increase the threshold and i agree with mark goal in this because what's this now subi once you increase the threshold it is beneficial to what to everyone who is within or below that threshold that twenty thousand um quote unquote tax credit it's only applicable to persons who have filed so what mark is even saying is that what about pretty much employers who have collected employees' deductions but have not submitted it? Those employers are disenfranchised. But guess what? Going now? You see, if him raise the threshold, everybody are going to benefit directly. So it's it not determined by no employer. Right now, that tax credit can be um, predicated on your employer submitting your deductions. You get what I mean? I say? All right. And and case in point, security officers, because the companies then around to collect their money and don't send it over. So may I ask a question. Right? Be someone with a reason after year. If him raise the threshold, yeah. The people them where pay less, where pay no taxes, how them are gonna benefit from the money then? Yeah, so yes, I know if him raise the threshold, right? Yeah, other people yeah. are getting money. The, the people who, who, are, who are, but the thing is, you know, once you raise the threshold, the if you raise the threshold, the people when they're paying the taxes, which is the poorer class, we are going to raise the threshold to $3 million, right? How many people in Jamaica make $3 million? If well, Jamaica, to be told still, you know, well, make yeah. us a couple of hundred thousand, right? Or, yeah, make us say half a million. So if you are giving it. people in Jamaica not making $3 million, it's like a year, it's one, a year. One point, one point, one well, point three, currently, we have one point three million people around here that are employed. But but hold on, but 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 Subi, remember, say three million a year is pretty much like say um let's say um you know two hundred and fifty k a month, you know. How much people you think that Jamaica work two hundred and fifty? What 000? you mean? But hold on, uh, most of the civil well, on, most of the civil servants are making that. You people in the, the minimum, financial what, sector what is, are making what that. Minimum, what is the minimum wage? Yeah, 15,000 them say no. Yeah. So how much people you think I work above the minimum wage at Jamaica? No, enough people, man. We can't compare that with the minimum wage because members say you have so a you lot of skilled that, jobs and educated, qualified jobs who make that. You believe so over 500,000 people at Jamaica I make, I make $3 million a year? Yes, and let me tell you why. I believe that there are public servants who are making that. Um, A lot of police officers are making that. Nurses, doctors, people who are in finance, whether working in the banks, um, people who are in management. A lot of people are making that, man. 250,000 a month, yeah. More than 500,000 people are making that, for sure. More than 500,000 people in Jamaica are making that a month, time, for sure. The Jamaica Constabulary Force, right? Yeah, base pay eighty thousand, right? Yeah, man, that a BSP, that a BSP, you know. Media BSP. Notice the word BSP. Yes, when I'm checking uniform allowance, traveling allowance, all kind of allowance, and them something there. A lot of them. Me not talk about no somebody who just graduated, you know. Me I say a lot of them. Even the man them were in a CTAC, major organized crime, detectives, sergeant, whatever, whatever. The money up there, so of course. Brother, 
Inspector, Inspector <laughs> Money up there, some in general. Look at that chart here. Look at that chart here. You see? Right. BSP. You see? 80K. Bonus. For who? For who? It's, a, it's a from the Jamaica Conservative Force. Right. So, um, all right. Yeah. yeah. BSP, fine. So, what about uniform? So, they're getting from 110K to 280K. Right? Right. Watch it. What percent is this? 91.4%, brother. I get 160K. See? BS, yeah, BSP. BSP. Good, good. Group. So you're not factoring all the various allowances. Right? So watch this now. It does say. Let me see now. So, so Subi, so Subi, since I like that, so a policeman who are him life, feel yes. him BSP a week at twenty thousand dollar. So him right below the minimum wage. Horrible, horrible. It's not good. It's not good. You know we don't tell lie. We don't tell lie, brother. Boy, fix that fast, bro, God. Fix yeah, that you know, fast. You know, good, you know, good, you know, good. Five thousand away yeah. from the minimum wage. Yeah, man, you know, good. You know, good. <laughs> It's not good, it's not good, it's not good, it's not good at all. It don't look good, brother. How much nurse do I get? Nurses, um, monthly pay, Jamaica. Right now, I'm mixed qualified, mixed, I get under a million dollars. All right, average nurses salary in Jamaica, right? So, where the nurse them, they know, brother. The nurse them, average salary is 934000 a year. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that means, uh, that means uh, um, pretty much um, that would be like, um, say, say 80000 80, a month. All right. So, so but a, a BSP, that's still anyways, you know. You then get money for allowance, man. Brother, top ten boy loans. But, but, but yeah, me not going to agree, he said, as it passed. Bonus, and they sit in the mind. Look, I'm right, bonus. True, it's true. Man. It's I small, it's small. You have to put bonus and they sit there and make it their foolish. No, thing. like uniform allowance and traveling allowance and all yeah. them something there. Right. See the bonus. See bonus. See chart. Yeah. See, see bonus. I write the nine acre as a bonus. You see it? <laughs> Look what people are getting bonus. Look at this. You can hardly see it, brother. Come right. On, Come on, bro. So this back to your argument, bro. And when I say this, 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 this is this is good. But what I'm saying to you is back to the reasoning. You have to miss a majority of um, um, 500,000 people. I get over 3 million, bro. I get 3 million. So the 20,000 where Ima talk about. Who are we getting at 20,000? Yeah, yeah, but so be. Um, so you if average, you, think, you think average Joe is getting that money? But I'm saying, remember, you know, it's, it's applicable to everybody with file. Brother, you're not, you're not paying the taxes if you're under 3 million. So if you're not no, paying No, 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 it wouldn't be. All right, so if, if you're not paying the taxes. All right, now, if you were paying taxes, pan, pan, yeah, it, from Andrew Wellness, if you increase it, right, to, 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 to 3 and 3 million from Andrew Wellness money, right? Right. How much will people see? Then I think, Mark, did I say what? 10,000 a month? No, no. People that are not paying taxes now. Let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say a million people, right? Are not paying taxes now under Andrew Wilmers, right? Government, right? Are we, are we, yeah, we're talking about the income tax, just to be specific. Right. The, 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 the one with the, with the, with the, with the, with the one. Yeah, man, the PS you earn kind of tax, right? Yeah, yeah. So let's say one million people not gonna pay their taxes, right? How much how much money will 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 will, will, will the government basically lose from that collect, collecting the tax? Are, are not yeah, but what's this now? If the government can supplement um that that are those quote unquote losses with other streams of revenue, then I just no, saw no, them no, do it more no, time too. No, 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 no jump ahead of the wagon. How much money them them basically not collecting by not collecting that tax? Well, I mean, we can definitely say that um, it's a good amount of money. Yeah, we can say that, definitely. Right. 
So it means say uh, if Andrew will, if, if if Mark will them raise it, that's a that's an additional expense for them not going to collect, right? Exactly. Yes, but it depends on what um they are pretty much subsidizing it with. It, it depends on what um what other exactly. streams of revenue that that's they can the supplement no, for um no, that no. kind of you know no, losses, so to speak. Let's say you increase it by 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 twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars. Yeah, that thir that that not thirteen hundred. Um um. One point seven, one point three, right? Let's right. say you, you 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 you're losing. You increase it by one point three. No, so three million, million, three million, three million. Yeah. yeah. That one, so yeah, yeah, right. One point three, right? So one point three, you increase it by, right? So now you have a million people now not not paying taxes on one point three. How much money that? Yeah, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. But how about too much? Give me a figure. Bow, bow, well, um, if yeah, it's yeah, like if it's like ten thousand a month per person, right? You know, says a hundred and twenty thousand a year that per person, and you talk about say uh, one point three million people. So you know how that go. You get what me? I say, yeah, yeah. Look for what? Yeah, look on um, um. Le let's say, let's say one point three million times a yeah. hundred thousand. A crazy money that man. That's like crazy money, brother. That's in the trillions, man. In the trillions. Yeah, man. So, that's that's yeah, over one point three trillion. So the taxes we're not gonna lose, but increasing it to one point three, not lose because we're not gonna collect. Can lose on weird. The taxes that is not going to collect are not one point three. What we we're not gonna collect uh, money from to make up that that that, that, that deficit. There. Again, no. It is it 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 depends because what is now. What if um they, they are generating more revenue to tariffs, right? When when goods are imported and whatever. What Anything. if they are generating more revenue to tourism? I mean that can offset that that expenditure. Anything that you anything that you're gonna generate more money on is gonna fall back where on the consumer. Well, well, Anything. that's not for government though, that's more like for private sector businesses. Anything goods we are coming out of the country, whatever, brother, it will go right back on the consumer, brother. And as me said, that is when the government actually, you know, increase the the, the prices and goods and services. The private what? sector ch um, transfer that what? cost to the consumers. Consumers, brother. But the government, the government now, say for argument's sake, right? I think they have gotten what? How much? What three million or or something like that, or one million from the year start, something like that. From what? Right? The, I'm talking about like visitors, right? And the mm -hmm. year just start, um, you know, breaking all kind of records. So based oh, on the, their projections. Tourism. tourism, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, tourism. I'm saying in terms of visitors. So based on yeah. their projections, they might be looking at a couple more million visitors before um in the next nine months. So at the end well, of the day, yeah. you know, they can project that additional earning to supplement stop, stop. anything they're gonna subsidize. Stop, bro. Over tourism, I kill you, bro. Over tourism, no. Right now, at Over the end of the day, that's that's the country's number one um revenue earner. Oh, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Over tourism is killing Jamaica ecosystem and all over, brother. Over tourism is destroying our beaches. That's why the, that's why the beach um, Andrew will just put in um I'm saying I go implement new 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 um beaches and all them things there, brother. Why do you think they're there? Yeah, but at the end of the day, um, you see, in a neoliberal capitalist not society, not taking, it is bro. profit. It is profit above principle, though. Bro, 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 we cannot take no more tourists. Over tourism, destroy so many regions. Jamaica need to cut down for the amount of tourists who come to Jamaica. They must describe the whole ecosystem and the culture. No, I mean just feel said as them have the people and bungle up at one spot. That's all, brother, brother. This man, because everybody stays in the tourist bubble, and if them do venture out, bro, they are going to places where it is destroying the ecosystem because they are. Remember, say most of the tourists, you know, never come to Kingston, you know. Man, to go be a Negro Otarius, right? That's so. You get what me I say? Saint and Saint James, um, um, Negro is in Hanover, and even parts of Westmoreland. You know that go. Yeah, them not far with a, a Kingston and not like that. So you realize that most of the tourism is relegated to like pretty much four parishes. Predominantly, I mean I say all, but predominantly, you know, Saint Anne, 
St. James, Westmoreland, and Hanover. All right. You see the article here? Yeah? This article is from Travel Weekly. Yeah? And it's also me and family. Come here to do a study for this. Right? It says leaders gathering in Jamaica to take on tourism's challenges. Caribbean tourism is back on track with numbers on several island matching or in some cases exceeding pre-pandemic levels. But that doesn't mean tourism officials aren't watching out for the next potential crisis. Natural disasters, financial and workforce issues, crime and political instability are just some of the issues that the Global Tourism Resilience and Crisis Management Center plans to discuss when it convenes its inaugural conference in Jamaica February 15 to 17, right? Um, so what is that? According to statistics, the top three countries whose GDP rely the most on travel tourism um, in the Caribbean, 21, Antigua, Bermuda, Aruba, and St. Lucia, right? That that up. Uh, 61, 59, 48 percent of them, um, them, them, them GDP um, in such order. You see? What does that mean here, brother? Brother, it's been destroyed by over tourism. We can't take no more tourists, bro. Well, will, there, there is no the issue there. You know, if you ask, me, even Mr. Sipright and um, um, the general, where is the name? Um, Edmund Bartlett. They, uh, they would not agree with you. Brother, brother, Iman Delano Siv right there, him, they wouldn't agree with you. Brother, when things they care about poor people. Um, and, and, no, and, but and, they, they want to ask you for the listen, data now. Listen, David, David, this is over tourism in, in the Caribbean, right? You will not find the word over tourism in, in the English dictionary, despite this, in the English Oxford dictionary, despite this, it has been used increasingly by tourism professionals around the world. It describes the experience of residents in locations where large numbers of visitors are seriously disturbing local lives. Causing environmental, placing an unacceptable burden on infrastructure, are making housing unaffordable. All those cases mentioned publicly and recently have begun to debate in cities from Barcelona to Venice, relative um, remote um, destination, blah, 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 blah. In recent years, tours in the Caribbean have been welcomed as a benign activity able to generate significant levels of employment, rapid growth. Blah, blah, blah. However, this is key. The evidence is that the Caribbean is probably now on the cusp, the cusp of having to amend this approach, genuinely placing citizens' interests first. Encouraging a debate, blah, 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 blah. What is happening here, brother? Over tourism is one, people start not renting places to people because they want to Airbnb. People yeah, are, yeah, yeah, but a lot of this is applicable get, to the smaller countries, though, like yeah, even Bahamas. Them. Bahama, St. Lucia, then because small countries there, right? right? No, man, so Jamaica population can accommodate, yeah, a lot of visitors. Them small right. countries, they like Bahamas now, and even St. Lucia, and, them, and Grenada, and St. Vincent. Yeah, of course, that's a problem. But bigger countries, it is not. Brother, the longest level we see. So, let me tell you, basically, if you go add, if you go add to the, 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 the threshold, him not tell you where I collect the money from to make up back for that billions, that trillions away when we not go collect. Right, but at the end of the day, he's not in government to make such statements. So I can't blame him for that. For so he's so like a pipe dream in myself still, but at the side there. He also mentioned in his in his, in his budget that um tax collected has increased from um four hundred and 11 million, yeah, 411 million to a total of, of, of 924. You sure it's millions then they ask him as a general? No, 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 monthly me attack, see? Here's All right, three. we're monthly. 3.289. According to him, the, um, the tax has increased. The GDP tax as a tax as per as percentage of GB, GDP from twenty four percent to twenty. Right. So he's saying basically in every category, taxes have increased. Right. Or more taxes is being is being collected. But the other thing though is that we have a lower environment from. 
Well, on Subi, you know, say I break up on my end door. You break up, you know. He's going to find somewhere else to collect that money. Wouldn't it, would, wouldn't it be reflective on what he's complaining about? I mean, yes, it would, you know. What, what, is, he, what, is, he what is he going to stop collecting taxes on? Yeah? Well, it's it's not a matter of stop collecting, though. It's about right. increasing tax revenue in terms of um collecting. Because remember, you know, a lot of people in terms of businesses and companies are not tax compliant so um that is where you generate more revenue by making sure these businesses are tax compliant and drive so that's a part of the revenue stream and drive them out of the, 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 the country it's not a matter of driving them out it's about their obligation according to the law yes, if you yes. are on a business just like the Chinese will sell them right then get them tax break and then bring in them family run the business for a couple of years and when the law up them run Ghana, China with the profit, send back one, one man named Mr. Wang, and here we go on out. Them now pay no tax again yeah, because, because a new company, that. new name, and people but, exploit but, it like that. You see, because they now pay no tax, they can sell it. Mr. Chin can sell it the bag juice cheaper. Well, in reality, though, he not really sell it that cheaper. He sell it based on the volume where he sell at daytime. He sell it cheaper. Well, he might, what, what, the, what I'm saying is that the volume at which he sell is just like me and you, right? You, you are sell a um, hundred bag of bag juice. For the day, you can sell it for 50 cent. Me, I sell one bag of bag juice for the day. Me, I have to sell it at $1.50 a day and yeah. about. Regardless, brother, what I say is, he's pointing out that there's been more taxes collected, but what is he, is he going to stop collecting taxes on on what? What is he gonna stop collecting taxes? And him said, him said one point, him said, him are, him are, him are gonna increase the threshold. So we hear from this one. So he might go, he might go basically cut off how much of the the, 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 the the tax as percentage of GDP. Where am I gonna cut? Well, probably he might have got tapping at the NHT, um, you know, surplus, so to speak, like Andrew Wallace. The NHT surplus, I build house poor people. Yeah, but remember, say Andrew Wallace, them going at it for, um, if yeah. you do other things the and it NHT goes against surplus, even the act the nht surplus are below the people well they well them the, them announce it now but me i said before that them going at the nht if you use nht money for fun other things when they should never have touched that nht money but anyway a politics same way he also said that jamaica right now has been rated um very poorly um based on the world indices indices right now compared to what it was would you agree with that in 2016 yeah of course that jamaica is rated that he can poorly be, yes uh, jamaica no yes the, the ratings yeah it's still poor the um corruption the corruption index yes it is jamaica is still poorly rated no, but what you're saying, what I'm asking you, him can make that 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 that, that argument. Who, Mark Golden? Yeah. Yeah, man, of course. Well, what kind of corruption Mark Golden involved in? So Mark Golden can make that argument. Say, yeah, Mr. Mark Golden. Yeah, him. Well, what kind of corruption he was oh. embroiled in? How long now has he been in government? Has he been in government? Mark Golden? Yeah. Mark Golden has been in government, so he was the justice minister under um peter phillips and i think Porsche as well okay can you see a screen yeah man all right this is the current this is the 23 chart um, um graph right right and that's a good look and this is a 2016 graph for, for PMP power 2016 okay but but that's not an indictment on mark Gold, though. no what i'm saying is you if you're just if you're gonna tell me that Jamaica is rated poorly, what was the PMP doing? Why why were rated so much more poorer than when quote unquote corrupted Andrew Wilness in our government? No. Yeah, but Mark can say he wasn't the leader, so um, you know, yeah, he was not, not the one who yeah, should be held yeah. responsible for that. Mark Golden had the credit for everything what happened. He might take credit for everything Andrew did. say I him start it, I him fix it, I him do it. What you say? He was in power. He was in. He was in thing there. He was a minister, not the leader of the yes. party. 
which which so so which tell me which billy bring to the floor anti-corruption billy bring to the floor if you bring down this could bring down the corrupted ratings where we are get around the world i forget we better ratings around the world which billy draft no, I mean, Margolin has been responsible for a lot of um, legislation. He's still, represent, you know? He's representing the PMP party. Right? Margolin is representing the PMP party. That's how we right. represent. The right. PMP party is trying to lecture the people of Jamaica on corruption. When 2012, look what we did. 2013, look what we did. 2014, no, hold well, on. 2012. It. But 2012, not just after the JLP administration? Yes. 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, and raise the COVID. So you're saying you see that raise under PNP, that's so. Yeah, but you see, deep again, not 2016. Look for the levels here, since Andrew will take power. Look for the levels here. So the only thing where Andrew can do is continue to do good, and this will go all the way up to here. The PMP now I'm talking about corruption, brother. The PMP now I'm not talking about corruption anymore. None. None. Well, to be told, if you know it, go, if the JLP keep on giving them ammunition, you can't blame them. See, rural weed and fit spin at them there. And see the um the speaker of the house that Julia Tolness replaced. Now, Mark Gold in a talk about some quote unquote illicit six and them something there. Right, um, the Petro Jamu, yeah, man, almost billions missing. All kind of banger and I go on to a JLP man. So, I did two of them as dirty man. Facts, <laughs> yes, but they look like Andrew and Dotty. But he will really figure the people them something out of Dotty and two. The PMP never give them nothing, you see. And rural readings in front of the rural readings supposed to have a legal matter go on. So we can't call rural name. We can't rural name. Yeah, because I'm a part of the corruption. That's some of a legal matter. Him, you can't but the man of guilty. No, but but okay. that, well, I know whether I'm guilty or not is is in front of the courts for corruption. Brother, did they find him guilty? No, but that doesn't mean that we can't say he's, he's in front of the courts charged with corruption. We, we, ne we never say he's found court. guilty, but he's charged with corruption. Brother, how much people them charged with all kinds of things on the administration? Well, I agree with you, Turn but rural weed is still charged. Call, call Hold on, Subi, I think you break up. Continue. Yeah. Can you? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hearing no. you now. You know, it kind of break up in and out. You know, you know, it thing right. Can you call Stern a criminal now? Who? Kern, yeah, talk. Kern Spencer. Kern, yeah. Kern Spencer. I'm not saying a criminal, but he was charged. Say my criminal because he was charged? No, no, no. Being charged. Well, on, man. Being charged don't make you a criminal, but you're still charged. Like rural weed is charged. No, no, no. Well, no. Morris McCarthy. No man, he must have balance, man. He must have neutral man. He must have neutral man. He must have him just a point out the facts. Yeah. But what I say is, um, you can't stand until they find him guilty, brother. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that he's not charged, though. I just there's somebody there. Vice Cartel, a criminal. No, but he's charged. <laughs> so uh, that's the reality. So I just made there with current Spencer and a rural reader and all them. Yeah, listen to yourself. You know, the Lali Bella, Lali Bella go chastise for that reason. <laughs> well, what? Well, hold on, hold on. Wait, what do you mean by that? Hold on. But current Spencer was charged. Rural Reed was charged. You choose to carry go over Vibes Cartel thing. Um, right now, right, right now, in the eyes of the law, the fact that the appeal court have to deal with it, of course, he is considered charged. That's why they have to apply for bail. But I was messing with you, but that's a yeah, but but yeah, but me know why you me know why you say that some people feel like say when me are saying that make no sense. 
No, um, no, remember no, you no. over Ratigan the attack one bag of sense and 2,800 people say a party attack in a general. So, no, 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 at no, this no, we there, you know. No, we may have... Yeah, I said, man, the man, I deal with corruption, I get called in a corruption, or whatever they call the, the, the case ongoing. Yeah, I said, they're a criminal, though. Me never use the word criminal. We can't, we can't, they we are can't charged. We can't, but we can't say them corrupted. The case is ongoing. No, I am not saying they are corrupted, but me say they are charged. No, oh, you might know that the people them were, uh, they have said JLP are give them ammunition. You understand what I say? Right. So members say rural read them charged under corruption, of course. Me, me, me not say I'm guilty, but he's charged with corruption. But I don't know if you can them sitting there. But I know JLP are give them ammunition. Then they then hold on, they are who now the rule with them, then go on with ah, where them go on with all over ah, CMU. Yeah. But but it's still in front of the court. Well, them charged the corruption, see we are the same there. Uh, yeah, ah. we agree, so them innocent and they're proven guilty, but technically ah. they are charged with corruption. All right, all right. All right, so 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 quickly from, from Andrew Wellness versus what we just hear from Mark Wolin, right? Um Andrew Wallace in his speech, the, the community action for rewarding engagement. It is important to note that more than 1,200 trainees have enrolled in the heart in heart since the removal of fee. So that's one of the things that Andrew Wallace have done. Right? Um him say using Statins October 2023 figures, our labor force stands at 1,377,600, right? Out of a working age population of 14 years and older, um, of 2,102,200. Um, this gives our labor force perception participation rate of over 65%. There are 724,600 persons, 16 years older, um, um, were not working, right? So I say un unemployment um, rate is 4.2%, which represents 57,300 um, um, persons unemployed, blah, 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 blah. See, so I must say yes or no, say. Um, for the art program, this is the man. This is why we decided that every student enrolled in art under the new care initiative will receive a monthly transportation grant of 15,000 to offset transportation costs to the art institution as they will be enrolled in. So isn't that a good thing that Andrew Wellness actually give people bus fare or taxi fare or whatever for that school? Yeah, man, that's a and, good look, man. Definitely. And they're going to go to school free, right? Yeah, man, that's a good look. So this means that uh, the whole perception that uh, Andrew Wallace is not done for poor people is a lie. Right, but you know, people are going to be... The whole idea that Andrew Wallace is not doing anything for poor people is, a, is, a, is, 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 is false information or misinformation when people are, are try plaster. Because if you now can go to the heart institution and you can learn a skill, yeah, you're getting fifteen thousand dollars for transportation and you're not paying any fee. That means you know, no man can't come to them boy, your bossy, or your me dad, your dada, your me daddy. You don't know, you know, me there, you know, I link up on a thing, you know. When you can go enroll, unless you're sick and unable to work. The problem we have in Jamaica is we don't have enough skills work, skill workers. A lady, me, me the other day, she have a farm and she and her husband run, run the farm and she's worried that they're going to get old and, 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 and no one will be there to tend to the farm because she cannot get people to till the soil. So, so where are their kids? Kind of so the thing go. The family tradition, farming thing go to. So it's not in a normal yeah. nobody if you work the farm until them all and whatever. The kids them some the, some maybe her kids are not interested either. They know they said the problem there too. But maybe she not because normally too. farming is a culture where it runs through the family. And yeah, the kids them gone to college and whatever. They know one that no farming thing. But, but, but if, if you have kids and you leave it to the kids and the, and the kids them can't get workers, it's just the same problem. She now currently running the farm. 
she cannot find workers. Yeah, that's so true kids, still. Then, yes, so the kids them the must make a difference. What am I gonna do? Put gun up people in? That's not true because farming is something where the younger generation are really interested in. The government has never promoted farming like that neither. To make it interesting or, you know, the younger youth, them want to farm. Nobody know want to farm. Everybody want to chop on them something. There. Nobody know want to wait for no six month crap or no five month crap or four month crap. A man who say he just get one chop out of a hundred, he just get one strike and he's good. Yep. I, I, I eat a food mentality I want. Right. So then they're not farming thing. So so now we have the hard institution where people can go and learn a skill. As, 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 as people need to get up off of them ass and go learn a skill. Well, uh, yeah, at least it's for free now. So I mean, because you know, hard they bought a good look while now, but at least but the hard, opportunities hard, are hard, there for everyone still, you know. Is better fifteen thousand at offset transportation, right? This grant will be tied. To the attendance at training we will go even further our trainees under the care program will receive an additional stipend of thirteen thousand per week for the duration of their training ah uh, see there so them good man bro god is the man say it low yeah man that's um fifty two thousand a month bro, right god stipend man. yeah man that's a good look yeah that's a good look yeah you see this yeah man a... mark golden can't go around that one they can't go bro. around that this is why they try to drown out Andrew Wellness with it with it, with it, with all the nonsense that's going on. Then try to drown out this. They don't they mean poor people no good. And this everybody feel talk about, brother. Because TikTok soon soon locked down. Where the whole of them can bungle up over there and I get people to give them rose and dog and puss. This is what the, the, this is what is supposed to be publicized. This is what the media is supposed to proliferate all last week and this week. Instead of publishing nonsense about the, 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 the speaker of the house, sending back a document. Yeah, but remember, so the media compete with, um, it's all about shock value, you know, and the breaking news and the hot topic, you know. There's some media there, you know, you know. No, the media... I engage in a misinformation campaign. Well, and well, if they are found guilty, then the broadcasting commission should um investigate, but we don't see nothing like that go on. In terms of them being investigated for breach of journalism ethics, because misinformation, deliberately spreading misinformation is a breach of um journalism ethics. But I think they could have done due diligence before they publish the report though about the documents being sent back you yeah but what did they say that was wrong though them them not them say anything wrong but what i'm saying is it seems that if they're trying to rush to break news well at the end of the day mark golden was the one who created the big issue out of nothing right and then now um then now if the media get the news said as it has been you know, sent over one part and whatever, they can only report based on where them get. So, me not think them breach no um, misinformation, you know, protocol, yeah. nothing like that. Agreed, agreed. But what I'm saying is, based on what they're, 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 they're doing, it'll hide the real things them that can actually make Jamaica a safer and a better place. Well, I think I, the problem I'm, is not the media, it's the public perception because sometimes yeah. we read something, we see some headlines... I would not read the details. I would just run with the headline and it's a whole different conversation when you read the details. That's just the truth. I saw, um, case in point, the DPP, there was a Jamaica Observer news article that says, see you in court. And that was in um, relation to her winning the case against the man who got a six-year sentence for illegal possession when the law was implemented for the mandatory 15 years. And then right. now... That same article went into the Vibes Cartel case and everybody run with it and say DPP are dealing with retrial. So again, no, sometimes the little um sound bites are the, yeah. the little headlines can be misleading, you know. But 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 media media is trust me. Um anyway, tools and trade initiative, right? This administration believes economic independence and self-employment 
not everyone will be an employee. We need more self-employed and young people who are entrepreneurial. Having removed tuition fees from all hard programs up to level four, this year we are building on that. Starting April 1st, 2024, every successful graduate of a level four trade program will receive a grant of 50000 to help them acquire the tools of their trade and to step up to the next stage of their career. For those who are on path or are or, or, or wards of the state, this grant will be increased to 75000 So, So, Subi, so you blame Mark Golden. When Mark Golden read all this now, <laughs> you blame Mark Golden from, from attacking the old speaker like seriously. You're right. You're right, brother. You're right. Yeah. I don't even want to read no more of this. Because that that in you know, Andrew Wallen's whole speech did it for me. Well, 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 Mark Wallen did say he might go make Bob Marley national hero. So I guess he will get he will get more more people appeal to him than the substance of heart and the economy, you know. Listen to me. Because I feel that people love Bob Marley more than the Jamaican economy and Andrew ah, people, tell them something there. Andrew Wallace, I give the people in concrete house and the PMP, they, they, they set up some house, some board house for them, you know. Yeah, man. And yeah, man. Remember the operation, operation pride and they're sitting there, man. The board house, they tie it out of the door. Right. Then that's why, that's why um, bro God style them and say, these are not board houses. These are concrete structures. And the man I implement the man want to implement a program where if you if, if you buy a first house and it's a one bedroom or so, if you want to sell back that house to NHT, you can sell back that house to NHT and get another loan, a new loan to, to get a bigger house. So so you're so let's say you go to the heart, you, you went to heart, right? Yeah, hear me? Yeah, man, loud and clear. Let's say you went to heart and, 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 and you graduate and you're doing well and you want to buy a little house. You start with a one room. When you, you know, your status increase, you know, the same heart, the same NHT program will allow you to buy another house, a bigger house. The NHT will buy back your house for you and get a new line of credit, you know. Yeah, man, that's a good look, man. You know, as a matter of fact, since I mentioned all the NHT, um, I think recently it's in the news that Root Venter was phase two. There's recommendation for the NHT if you actually scrap it. You get what I say? Yeah, man, because I remember the phase one there, um, you know, yeah, the whole cost of the apartments and things like that, it it, it never looked good. So they actually recommend that they scrap um, phase two. Of root ventures. So what's the dichotomy you now? Right? Miss Miss Lawrence, I'm gonna be biased. Me no, me no, me no, did no bias from me there, so Miss Lawrence. Everything we're gonna show you evidence. Them them trick you. Yeah, but so the politics is like religion in you know, general. People us people us hear a thing and them just convince you. Know. Here tonight, you can go back and watch it if you just join. I showed evidence. So me not dealing no bias. Emote Show me some point about the 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 the, the, the threshold, and even though it's complicated, me not beat him down on it. Me, you, you, you know, you say the police they want to get more pay and the nurse them. You never hear that. You just go past them by and say, "Yes, me agree." So the police and the nurse them to get more money. Me want Andrew work on that, you know. Me want to hold Andrew holdness to the, the teachers and the nurse them more money, you know. So me not bias, but Mark Golden has no message. He has no substance. He's Donald Trump 2.0. Well, well, he, well, he did say um, a part of the peace thing or crime fighting thing. 500 um, violence disruptors. Yes, Ubi, I hear me because you break up now. I think I lost you. Yeah, yeah I think in a, in, in a nutshell. In, in last words, in your last words. You know, so I mean, I really have the last word still, but you know, you think go big up yourself. You don't know, you think go big up to everyone. You know, just go on, um, do no one research, people. 
you know, and I really listen to nobody for spoon feed, you know, with no information and frame the narrative based on their political persuasion, right? Yeah, man, apply critical thinking and know, say, look upon the information for yourself. The same way, oh, Mark Golden created one big yeah, issue I think, I think the about the house speaker. Where's the Subi? Yeah, I, yeah, I think your Wi Fi bad, but I'm just saying, like, people just check out things for yourself, man, and look out for the information for yourself. No, make nobody try to frame the narrative and try to trick you. You get what I say? Because based upon the um, findings and the things revealed today, me know say Mark Golden must feel away in himself. If you know say him a cry wolf and um there is no wolf, you know. And that's as it relates to the um integrity commission reports. But anyway, so we'll be big up yourself, you know what you think of? Yeah, I'm to get cut off. Yeah, I get a bit of me, me jump on with the phone. And we can check back in and close up, bro. Yeah, I always say people don't get um don't 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 be just like a sheep where follow a shepherd blindly. Do your own research and check when the, the, the two arguments that the people may present. You see, what is in Mark Golden's budget that can be make you and your family live more comfortable? Is there an Andrew Wilness budget speech that will allow you? And your family to live more comfortable. In my view, Andrew Wilness NHT program and the heart program is not something that you should ignore. It's an opportunity for young people to go learn a skill. There are so many areas in the, in the work workplace that need skilled workers. And we don't have no skilled workers in other areas there. In a construction, and we have the form system. We need to ever put them thing that all people set up the form system because that's going to be the future. That's going to be the future, the form system where they use build houses in Jamaica. So at the heart institution, they need to implement some of them programs there and some of them skill programs there where people actually learn to set up the forms. Because it's not black and cement and them thing there again, you know. It's not black and steel and cement again. And it will be much easier for people to learn these skills how to set up even the farm systems how the farm system went to build houses there are so many opportunities for people beverly said andrew is a con man but guess what if i'm not if i'm not con and i give back something take it and make yourself a better person the people that were con are not going to nothing stop Follow them blindly. If you man a can man, take where you take and go on. When has politics ever been clean? When has politics ever been um Jesus slippers? Jesus slippers wearers. Our wearers of Jesus slippers. When? Eh? When? So but I learned that idea. You don't have to listen to me. Listen to your heart. Big up on yourself.